Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, commodities market and the precious months market. This is going to be my daily forecast for uh, September 3rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button above bell to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at uh, the US dollar index. And as you can see, it has been falling off a cliff since it went to the highs of 93.70. So we are going to retest uh, the 300 moving average here, break below that, and the 200 moving average comes into play. MACD is very bearish, the CASIC is bearish, and so is the RSI. And of course, this has major implications for, for example, gold uh, oil has been rallying today. Gold should be rallying as well. Stocks should be also uh, very bullish for stocks, even though that this is a terrible month for stocks in general. So if we find support down here, then we may rally to the upside but break below this level here 91.80 then we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average so let's look at oil so oil has rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then got rejected and that is that is fairly um interesting because if we get rejected here and then break below this candlestick kind of here then we could drop all the way down back towards the 200 moving average we do have a uh, upper trend line here which we can ride up roughly there that is basically the main reason why we are finding massive resistant here and uh, we basically need to break above this line in order to go higher but interesting that we are finding support and uh, resistant at the same level there macd is bullish uh, and the stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bullish as well so let's look at natural gas So natural gas has been absolutely uh, exploding the last uh, week and uh, at this current age it is uh, very overstretched and it's very overbought as well. It has a major pullback here, it looks like a continuous diary. If you get a red candlestick here then we may see a pullback towards the previous highs here of uh, 4.188. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. If you look at the weekly chart for natural gas it's becoming parabolical. And you just only need to look at what happens to this market when it becomes parabolical. At some point, this bubble will basically burst and we will have an absolutely, uh, well, complete collapse in this market. That's how it has been behaving in the past. And uh, that's also what we should expect for the coming future. So let's look at uh, copper. So copper prices, we can see that we are right, we'll find support down here at, at basically the middle of the bullish band, trading at the 4.498 at this point. MACD is a bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So you may see this uh, bounce from here, break below, or if we break below the middle of the bullish band, then the 200 moving average comes back into play. But there was a lot of buying occurring when we basically tested the 200 moving average show be surprised if that occurred yet again so let's look at gold so gold has a pullback a little bit today we have been basically bouncing off the 200 moving average and trading at uh, 1809 at this point if you look at macd is bullish the casting is bearish and the rsi is also becoming bearish if we drop below the 50 moving average and the break below roughly 1781 then we could basically be dropping back down to the downside um yes this is an area where we have found massive um, basically stabilized in the past and you see interesting to see basically what will happen us dollar that continues to depreciate then this will it basically will help the gold market so let's look at silver so silver is struggling. It has pulled back from roughly 24.18 and we are trading at 23.86 at this point. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish. So it is not a market I would uh, consider at this point. It can rally to the upside. It can also completely collapse down towards the 22.50. If we drop below 22.50, then we have to go all the way back basically to 18.77. So let's look at platinum. So platinum is uh, kind of just hanging around here. Found a bottom of roughly 961 and found a top of roughly 1020. We are 
basically getting rejected yet again by the 20 exponential. And uh, if we, that continues, this will just continue going lower and lower. You can see it also here, we tested it several times before going lower, tested it several times, and then we can basically go even lower. MACD is uh, still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's go pallium. So pallium is uh, falling off a cliff, uh, found major resistance here at the 20 exponential. And now it looks like if we, if we break below this, then we are going to towards 2260. MACD is turning around, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. Yes, it looks like this is kind of turning around and heading back towards the previous lows. This is also an area where we found the major support uh, last year. We were just in this range forever before taking off to the down upside. And now we're going back towards uh, this level, which is 22.58, give or take. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has a really rallied yet again to the upside. And uh, usually when it gets this parabolical, it tends to pull back towards the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average has pulled back today and uh, if you look at the uh, MACD it is bullish, the Kassik is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. It is just doing the same thing that it has been doing for basically the last year. Since we bought them here last uh, April it has basically been rallying to the upside. So let's look at Nickel. So Nickel is um, still gradually going higher. It has kind of consolidated here around 20k down towards 18.3k uh, but bouncing up to the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average but still um, if we break above the 20 exponential then we, this will go significantly higher probably another thousand uh, dollars to the upside but uh, at this point it's just going sideways and may fall back towards 18.3 um, um, or rally to 20k. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish and the RSI is Flat. So let's look at sugar. So sugar is bouncing off the middle of the Bollinger Band, which it has been doing several times. You can see it here, here, and yet again. And it looks like it's going to do the same thing here. If we drop below the 20 exponential, then the 50 moving average comes into play, roughly 0 0.1870. MACD is bearish, the Kansas is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's go cotton. So uh, cotton is also finding support at the middle of the bullish amount of 20 exponential. So it's probably the most predictable of these uh, of, the, of the all of these markets is basically the cotton market. Now, recently, since the beginning of June, it has been bouncing off the 20 exponential, continuing every time we get very overstretched, it basically pulled back towards 20 and then just continues to the upside. MACD is still bearish at this point, so Kansas is bearish and the RSI is flat. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa has really taken off today, uh, had this massive run to the upside, pulled back, and then uh, rallied like crazy today. If you look at Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that the reason why I found support was basically down here at the uh, 38.2. And uh, we may see this rally up towards the previous highs here, roughly 26, 22. If that breaks, then we are going back towards the very highs. We could also make the, uh, it could also be a massive flag here. If that is the case, then we are looking at a, a fairly big rally to the upside. If you look at the MACD, it is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at wheat. So wheat market has been struggling the last few uh, weeks and uh, is uh, pulling back. If you look at Fibonacci retracement, we can see that we are finding support here at the 38.2. The next support level is down here at 50 and the 50 moving average, and that's probably as far as this will go. If that breaks, then the 200 moving average and the also 61.8 will come into play. But still a fairly... Um, a bad market to enter at this point. It needs, basically needs to show where or not it goes to the upside or to the downside. So I hope you find helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.